Sister Bistro. It's a shop where they sell um, traditional Czech food called chlebiki. Um, it's basically an open face sandwich. So we're gonna try one. Let's try this first. This one looks like beef with like some cream and onions and um, I don't know, that kale. Anyway, we'll, we'll try it. Tastes like this one. Tastes like um, the meat is like a meatball, and the flavors are like get together with like um, I don't know what this is. The cream and the onion mixes well together. This one is um, has like a beef roll. I don't know. Looks like cream cheese inside and this little. Um, Fish eggs? I'm not sure. We'll try it. Oh, I don't know how to eat it. Oh, this is like butter with like beef and like cream cheese inside. It's really good. We're all, we just got a few little sandwiches, cut them up, so we all get to try like a little piece of everything. But it looks like there's a little bit of cheese with a fish egg, some uh, maybe onion or noodles? I'm not even sure. Maybe. Mm. It's just like a really fresh um, potato salad on a piece of bread. And I mean that like in the best way. It's really, it's pretty good. It's really good. Potato salad. It's the best way to describe it. Yeah, we just came from Sisters Bistro. It's really good. But if you go down the street a little bit, you can find this place called Locale, and they have pretty. Authentic, uh, authentic local food. <laughs> they have authentic local food. <laughs> All right, so we have here a pork knuckle with horseradish sauce and bread dumplings. Mm. Or with light. Light kind of like tomato gravy sauce. Pretty good. Let's try the dumplings. Yeah, the horseradish. It's like it's a strong taste. As soon as you hit the gate right there. The meat is good, the meat is soft, it's not too hard. The sauce is good. I like it. Uh, Add this flavor of the sauce with this meat. Now let's get some of the bread. Huh? Slice a little bit down there. Just dip some of that dumpling bread in there. Mm, some sauce. Okay. It's really soft, right? Uh. Mm. It's like a pound cake. It's that soft. I dig right through it. Pretty good. Pretty good. This one thing works very well together. Huh? Not a bad little horseradish. But yeah, that's just me. Christmas market looks way more awesome now that it's during the day. You can see everything. It's emptier, way emptier than yesterday, yeah. if you remember yesterday's video. So I think I prefer the afternoon, definitely over the nighttime. That's just me. I mean, there's no Christmas lights really, but. Yeah. If you want to eat, go in the afternoon, and then you can just come back at night to see the lights. So I guess that's Very a good better time. plan. All right. So uh, yeah, today, you know, you saw the lunch earlier, now we're just here. Um, we're meeting up right here for a free walking tour. Because you know that's what we do every time we go to a new country. We want to learn about the place. This one's 
Again, it's free. You uh, tip at the end what you think the value is, if you liked it or not. And it's about two and a half hours. For me, the walking tour is very important because I kind of want to appreciate more what like, I'm seeing, the architecture. So. Ooh. So we just got food. Pretty good. Really good, actually. It's right next to the, uh, the apartment, so... Probably get to some later, but right now... We're off one more time to the Christmas market, because we gotta do stuff. We gotta do... We have to go back. Thank <laughs> you.